Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys another Forzathon guide where I show you the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now luckily this week's one is really really easy, called a British Icon, it wants you to own and drive one of the most famous cars ever built, the 1965 Mini Cooper S. Now this kind of got me thinking as to what is the most famous Mini Cooper of all time. Uh, obviously you've got the Rally Monte Carlo Mini Cooper, you've got Mr Bean's Bright green mini um, and you've also got the three red white and blue from the italian job the original one that is with michael kane but i was kind of thinking is there many more i know there's probably definitely some but i'm just having a bit of a blonde moment and can't think but um it'd be really interesting to if you guys put down in the comments what you think is probably the most famous mini cooper of all time but anyway we're gonna get back on track here so we're gonna get stuck into it so first of all you've got to go and pick the mini cooper from your garage now i'm sure most of you already have it but if you don't it'll only cost you thirty thousand credits from the auto show i've also created a tune for you it's called forzathon mini and the share code is 9315384854 and it's there if you need to use it now the first challenge here just wants you to win two dirt race searing event series events which is really really easy so if you filter the map just to show that and go up to glen rannock you'll see the glen rannock trail now here i have as per usual created a nice and very quick race for you guys to complete it's called forzathon easy and there is a share code for it so that is 733-545-904 and it's one of those typical races that i create to help you get through the forzathon challenges really quickly where the AI will go off up the mountain and you can just sail past them. So by the time you get to the finish line, they'll only be halfway done. And you can do it on whatever difficulty you want as well. It doesn't matter because it's only a Forzathon event. So all you have to do is win that race twice and there is the first challenge complete. Now the second challenge here is pretty much the same except it wants you to use a road racing series event. So for that, I went to the Lakehurst Forest Sprint, which is just directly north from the Horizon Festival. And again, it's another one of those challenges I created. So this one is called Super Quick, and it's another one where you just go straight to the finish line and the AI drive off. There is also a share code for that, which is 208-672-282. And again, it really doesn't matter what difficulty you're doing it on, as long as you just sail past the AI like that and get to the finish line. And again, you don't need a tune, but it does always help make things go a bit quicker. So all you have to do is complete that race twice and there is the third challenge complete. Now for the fourth and final challenge, it wants you to earn a total of 75,000 skill score in your 1965 Mini Cooper S. So this is a really, really easy one, but what I would also recommend is buying out some of the car's perks. So if you go under the cars tab and then into car mastery, you'll of course see all the perks that the car has to offer. Now picking loads of these will enable you to get a higher percentage of certain skill scores, which inevitably will make life a bit easier and make things quicker. Now to complete challenges like this, I always go over to the Greendale airstrip because there is loads and loads of skills you can earn over here, whether it's smashing into things or just drifting or speed skills, whatever the case may be. But this one is really, really easy. Now, if you've only got a multiplier of five, for instance, all you need to do to get 75,000 skill score is hit 15,000 and then of course multiplied by five. But after I've brought all the perks out, the multiplier goes further than five. I think it goes up to seven or eight. And that means obviously all I need is less than 15,000. So you can see I'm already at a 6.1 times multiplier with 11,000 skill score. So I really should have just stopped there, but I kept going for an extra few seconds. But this challenge will literally take you, as you've just seen here, about two minutes. You wait for the skill score to rack up at the end of it all. And as long as you've got over 75K, you'll be sound. But at the end of the day as well, it doesn't matter if you don't get it in one shot because you can do it over the course of a week or a weekend if you want. It really, really doesn't matter. So you don't have to do it anywhere specific. You don't have to buy out any of the perks and you don't have to get 75K in one shot. You know, like I said, it can take you a, a number of attempts or you can just keep on driving around doing races in your mini until you get it. Sort of one of those kind of things. But it's really, really easy. And as you saw there, it can take you as little as to just two minutes, basically. So this week's Forzathon is a really, really nice and easy one. And it shouldn't take you any more than five to ten minutes, which is always good because it means you can get on to the other challenges and start winning some of the other cars. Now, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has and you're new to the channel, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe. And if it did help you out, don't forget to drop a like as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.